right, so here we are, Walmart. Let's see, get to pick up the new releases, and of course, this was number one on my list here. Been waiting for this film, man. One of my favorite slashers of this, I guess, new decade and last year period. So, definitely getting that. My daughter wants to see this so bad, but I don't think I'm gonna buy it though, because. I'd rather hold off and just stream it first. 24 beans. And this is wrong to sell too. It's not 40 freaking dollars here, right? Where? This was another one that I'm coming to get. I was looking for the steel book, but I don't see it. But let's hope it's somewhere here. So far, these two joints is what I'm leaving with. I saw this movie just hit Shutter. Suitable flesh, not sure what it's about. I'm gonna check it out probably later today. It's a DVD with a slipcase. So we'll see if I like it. I might come back and get it because I think this is, yeah, it's only $12. So I wouldn't mind picking this up depending on if I like it or not. I'm not blind buying it though. And Walmart randomly has these like custom slipcases for movies. So like you got Willy Wonka, Aquaman, Beetlejuice. Midway, the Dirty Harry collection. This is pretty dope in itself, too. The Cocaine Bear, I think this is a DVD, but typically they have a bunch of different versions. Trolls. I actually like this. This is dope. <laughs> the sweater. A bit of a spoiler, but you know. Um. Nothing I want to pick up over here. Let's check the other side. And we have this section over here. Again, custom slip cases down here. For Crank. Angel is Fallen. Walmart typically is pretty cool for that. Let's, again, that's why I come in here every random time because you never know what they have, but now even more so I'm gonna come in here. Like look at this. This is a Dune 4K with this custom slipcase. It's pretty tough. Then you have this whole side right here. Like I said, Walmart tends to have a lot of movies. So I'm not really that mad about them taking over. Because you never know what you can get. Got the family movies here. Um let's see what else is over here that I probably Oh, there it goes. Puppet Man, this movie released last year on Shutter, And I'm noticing Walmart gets all of the Shutter stuff. DVDs with slipcases specifically. And I actually enjoyed this film. It's a nice flip on the idea of possession and what it is. And it's only $14. I think I might pick that up. That's pretty hard. Well, this is that's a different... This is probably $10 when I think about it. We'll see. I'm going to get it, though, because I really did enjoy the movie. So I looked all the way over here. And they don't have the Silent Night Steel book, which is what I really, really wanted, man. I'm kind of upset that they don't have this. I guarantee you there's another Walmart close by to me that usually gets the steel books, But... I'm just mad because I wanted to <laughs> have it in my hands, but it's nothing I really can do. So Back from Walmart, and as I usually do, I'm going to go over the joints that I picked up on release date, which is what I just showed. And then after those, I'm going to get the joints that I ordered offline. So let's get into it. So the first thing on my list that I had to grab, as I said in the store footage, is Thanksgiving, one of my favorite slashers of last year. I just love the originality of this joint, love the costume, I love that it's just a classic who done it. It's all I really wanted and the fact that we now have a film that we can associate with Thanksgiving that's horror related. This is a win for me, man. Um, and it came with a slipcase. I got confused because somebody online posted that they got Thanksgiving like early in a Walmart and they showed a version without a slip cover and that kind of aggravated me. So I had a custom one made already. I paid for it and it's gonna get sent here. So once that does get here, I'll still show y'all that and compare the two slip cases and let y'all know which one I picked, but still all in all happy to have it. It had an ugly sticker here. You can't really see the residue. It says something like um, 
deleted scenes and you saw it on the footage, but I had to take that thing off. I like it to just be clean, like the poster. And I do kind of wish they would have went with the other artwork for one of these, like, you know, this having this art and the other one having Carver with his back turned with, you know, holding an axe. I would have preferred it to kind of switch up, but either way, I'm happy with the purchase. So for those who are interested in the movie, the night of Black Friday at the store, a whole bunch of chaos happens. People end up dying. And then a year later, somebody shows up dressed as Carver, just murking people off who all had something to do with that situation. Like I said, it's a classic slasher. Nothing too crazy. I know you see Eli Roth and think like, oh, it might be bananas, but it's not, you know, actually. It's the standard slasher, like I said. And it's campy, fun as hell. Not to be taken seriously, but takes itself seriously to actually be into the story and I'm gonna crack this open and watch this tonight. I've been waiting for this thing to come. So Thanksgiving is the first one I bought. So next on my list, as you saw, is Silent Night. Yes, it's a lot of holiday films back to back, but I had to grab this one. It's a John Woo flick, so I had, had to pick it up. So the movie is about Joel Kimmerman who son ends up passing because of a drive-by shooting. He tries to go after this group, but fails at it, gets shot in the throat, and ends up losing his voice. So to avenge his son, he spends the next year just kind of practicing and training, and then he goes after them in just a, a blazing rage of chaos. Now, this movie is not the craziest, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed it for what it did. I think the choreography is pretty dope, and to see John Woo come back, I, I had a good time with this film. And standard slipcase, I'm kind of upset because a number of reasons I'll say this. So Walmart has an exclusive steel book. They had an exclusive steel book that had a slip case on it and it was not in store since I showed y'all and it's been out of stock for a minute because I actually checked it a few days ago and it said out of stock and I'm just like, come on, man. Now, so now that y'all are taking over the Best Buy steel books and what they're getting, we're running into the same issues and I feel like this is going to be something that we see with exclusive steel books. They're not gonna get all of them in stores. They're gonna sell out before they even get shipped to stores. And I don't like that shit. For those who are able to get it, let me know if you found the steel book in your Walmart. It was nowhere near me, so I'm just out of luck. And I really, really wanted that. So I think from now on, if they have a steel book that is gonna release, I'm just gonna pre-order it because I don't have a choice. Because one of the sucky things about Walmart and why I don't pre-order Blu-rays is they don't ever come on time. They usually come the day after or the day after that of the release date. So I'm not gonna be able to get the movies on release day, meaning it could possibly change up my trajectory as to when I do my weekly vlogs about physical media. But I think I'm gonna go that route because this this is cool, but man, the steel book is super dope with the slip case that's translucent. I'll put a pic here so y'all can see it, but man, I really, really wanted that. I'm gonna search to see if it's somewhere and if it is, I'm gonna try and do a nice little swap out because the steel book is only $10 more than this. So it's a bit of a steal. Next is another new release that I also showed y'all in Walmart and that's the Puppet Man. Like I said, it's a spin on demonic possession and they do a lot of cool things. And this is especially a good one to watch now because it has a whole winter vibe and it's got snow everywhere. People are wearing the layered clothes. So if you're one of those people that likes to watch winter S stuff during the winter, this is definitely a cool one to watch. And again, it's on Shutter right now if you do want to watch it out by the physical media. This is a DVD. Didn't see the Blu-ray in there, but again, I don't mind buying a DVD if it has a slipcase because this is what means a lot to me, as you know by now if you've been watching my vlogs. That's the back. And the artwork on the inside is the same. Don't get to show that. But yeah, the puppet man. I, I dug it, so I had to pick it up. And it was only 10 bucks as well. So those are all the joints that released today that I picked up and I'm gonna get into my online orders and I wanted to start with Cherry Falls. Now, Ben had this Blu-ray in my collection, but what's different is I got a custom slip case for it to match the artwork from my guy again, custom slip covers on Instagram and he's also on Etsy and it's perfection. I've been wanting a slip case and like I said, now that I found this guy, you're gonna see a lot of these movies pop up in my vlog that I just, Purchased the new slip for it, as I've said many a times. And I just gotta keep saying it just in case there are some new followers who come on here and wonder what I'm doing. One of my favorite slashers ever. It released, I believe, in 2000, so it has that late 90s vibe. It's just 
like what you would imagine was kind of like Scream. It, it follows suit that whole subgenre of what Scream created in the late 90s. But I feel like there's an interesting twist to how the story rolls out and the rules of the story and even the killer themselves. I feel like it's a nice twist that you don't really see coming. It's very underrated. It's not on anything streaming. I haven't seen it. They had it on Shutter for a little bit, but I don't know where it's at now. But the Blu-ray itself can be bought on Amazon. And if you are a fan of like the late 90s slasher, this is a must watch. So last but not least of the things that I bought, this is gonna be a little controversial because it is an unofficial copy, but Dark Harvest, this is yet another one that I ordered online and it was very cheap. One of my favorite horror films of last year. I've been talking about this movie for the past three to four years since I read it online about what it's supposed to be. It's this town in the 60s that has this entity called Sawtooth show up every Halloween and they send the young boys out to kill it. And the kid that can kill it can leave the town. So that puts you in a space of like, what is going on here? And I had to buy it. Right now it is only on digital. I did buy it on digital, but again, I need stuff on my shelf. I need something to feel because this is definitely a movie that I can bet money that it could get lost in translation and no one would know where it's at because it was a very small movie just released on a random Friday. I think Friday the 13th of October, it just randomly released. Didn't hear anyone talk about it for real. So I had to keep it just for myself in case it does disappear. And again, this looks official tissue. Look at this slipcase. Turn that bad boy around. Pull that artwork out. It's pretty damn official, man. I don't know how they doing this, but they keep doing it. So it only cost me 15 bucks and came rather fast. And I'm just happy to have this in my collection. It's one of those ones that I can definitely boast about because it is a film that I really enjoyed and loved when I saw it last year. So Dark Harvest. Be sure to check it out on Amazon or whatever video on demand site if you want to purchase it or even rent it. I think it's worth it if you are a horror fan. So those are all the movies that I picked up this week. Let me know in the comments what you picked up. Let me know about stuff that I may have missed that you bought. And if you did get the steel book for Silent Night, let me know how you get it. Did, did you find it at the store or were you able to get the pre-order and purchase it and have it shipped to your house? I think I'm going that route. But I encourage all physical media collectors out there to make your videos, post your pictures, make your accounts on Twitter, social medias, just to show off your collection to help keep this thing alive and well so we can keep getting these releases. And so if you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, thank you. And until next time, peace. Rap nerd productions, no capping, that's word to mommy.